Oh, that's a good question. <laughs> no false. Zeus never says. Sun. False name. I think. Oh, those things. Really? All oh, right. Oh, trying to get this. Good old address is in order to prepare. Yeah. Huh? Good old address is in order. Yeah. You've heard of fake group news? No fake news. <laughs> I like it. That dog makes it look like it's up there. So cute. Is it here or is it I thought it was up there, but I, I know she's just me. She had a piece of like gold string in her mouth. She was making her nest when I saw the tree moving. And they're not used to saying that. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's your home up here. Comes back every year. Oh, wow. There was a newspaper was blown up there one year. Oh, 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 perfect. What kind of bird? A big fat dove. Mm. Mm. Do you have any resident hummingbird nests? They're around. I don't. They're hard to find. Yeah, and they're very shy. And I don't cut trees now. I have to. I always want to trim my trees. Mm. But well, where are we going? That's the beginning. Yeah. I think Saturday, April 15th, 3. Oh, that, that's mine. That, that's mine. That's second, or if they take that order. If he takes that order. Yeah. Hey. How you doing? Well, according to this. Either way. Um. And why are you still in it? Uh, hmm. Right, that's the question. Yeah. Um, I seem to think. I mean, in this third dream, it's like. Okay. Take it. Yeah. She's doing this. I'm trying to leave. Oh, you say you're doing David's no. And I'm watering these flowers. No problem. no problem. I wanted to water them all before I left. <laughs> and we're on three. But then I'm watering those transistors that are resisting the water. And, but still, there's like this sense that they need me. They need me to hmm, clean them up or water them. Maybe one of those two that are still over there. And then the idea of going up to the hill and watering now. I mean, it's a big hill. It's like the North Florida. And it's not even my property at that point. It's like, you know, like here I say I watered around my house. And then this other stuff is like way the hell out there. But there's the sense that only I could do that big of a job or that I should do it because I have the energy and um, <laughs> yeah. but yeah. so and the last decision point was that I you know what? I don't want to make a decision about myself what I what I want to do what is or need to do Crazy. It's like I don't know what the hell is the problem with that. It's in the dream. Okay. Um hmm. yeah. and I don't so, 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 so. how I'm trying to wash a few things and wash this and some of this and food. Not sure what else. Then I that I need to I need to go around back up to something. It's like this because I then I take my one and I'm thinking of these things and I'm like don't so it's frustrating. So I'm trying to decide if I should just keep pushing on this thing, trying to water these, or should I go up to that other one? And this last decision point was what I kept mulling over. 
I just cannot make a decision for myself. I can decide about others, but... Uh, stand, no. stand a drink. I don't see what you're referring to. I know, that's why I'm bugging you. Send the dream. I'm over by the side of the dream in the area occupied with other people's stuff. And I'm wondering how I will... Why is the dream telling you the nature of your problem out of your end? <clears throat> by the way, it's not you personally. It's equally true for many people. Okay. That it's there that you can't see it. Yeah. Okay. I like that. What is the problem in that third dream? As you see it, as you've expressed it, it's there. Okay. How about wanting to water everything before I left? No? See, you're not answering my question, see? What is the problem? You That's right. The problem. Okay. Don't give me anything other okay. than that. The problem is I'm trying to do one thing and I'm blocking. I'm, I'm coming up with other things to do that are going to preclude my leaving. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to leave. Or that's what I'm saying. I'm trying to leave. But then I'm doing all these other things. That's true. What's the problem in terms of the dream? And now that you're doing these other things, what's the problem in doing these other things? The problem the, is mm -hmm. not that you are doing other things than, than what you want to do. Mm -hmm. There's something about what you're trying to do in preference to doing what you want to do. That's mm -hmm. the nature of the problem. And it's in there clearly. They don't need to be washed. They don't need. They don't need to be taken care of, and they're not mine to take care of, and they're impossible to accomplish. All of that is true, but you haven't seen what the issue is. Mm. That is there in the text and the document and the mm -hmm. statement. Okay, Let's read it now from the second paragraph. <clears throat> but it's like the resistors that I'm watering are resisting the water. It's like I'm watering them because I think they need it, because I think they need it, but somehow they're not taking the water. Hey, what's the problem now? There's a discrepancy between what I think and what, what I think they need and what they actually need. And which, uh, how would you express that? You're correct, by the way. Okay. Um, it's an impossible task that I'm... Why is it impossible? What is the nature of the impossibility there? I'm giving water to something that can't take water. Resist. It's like I'm watering them because because I think they need it, but somehow they're not taking the somehow somehow. No, it's not that somehow isn't there. Go ahead. But somehow they're not taking the water, yeah. or the water is just rolling off them. Yeah. Therefore, what's the what's the drama between what two things? Well, I think they need the water, but they can't use it. They just 
just rolls off them. Therefore, what would you say is the issue then? It's good? Well, it's a... Um, it's something... It's a problem. It's a delusion. I have this delusion. I think they need water. Oh. And obviously they, they can't oh. use water. Oh. And I'm acting on this delusion. Yeah. And what, what do you think about it? State it again. Come on. What's the nature of the problem? I'm under a delusion <coughs> that something needs something. Yeah, what's the delusion? I don't know the word. So. It's a false belief. What, what, what's the nature of it? That I think something could use my nurturing. or yeah. And it, it's impossible. It can't use it. Not that they can't. There's no need for it. There's no need for it. Yeah, right, there's no... Take a look. Yeah, it's it's bizarre. In fact, they don't need it. <sighs> they don't need it. That's your life. Yeah. You go around helping people. That what? I can't use my help. I don't need it. Yeah. Don't want it. Don't. Judging. Et cetera, et cetera, Yeah. But you're still doing it. Yeah and frustrated because they don't finish it. Because they, they don't appreciate it and reciprocate and why respond. Should they, why should they appreciate something that's frivolous? Right. You think they should appreciate something that's utterly what? Utterly unnecessary. Yeah. yeah. That's your life. Mm hmm Yeah. What do you think of that? I wonder about it. What well, the hell are you wondering about? It? Why I do that? Well, you have no idea why you've been raised that way? Why I was raised that way, to put effort towards something that... Um, <laughs> I have no idea why I was raised that way. Uh, let's see. That's an interesting way to put it. I was so... Um, so this is how I was treated. I was given raised. just raised, taught, taught. This is how my parents used you. Used me. They gave me stuff that I could barely use or not use at all. Or, and so I do that to the world too. Not bad. Not good enough. Um, why would I have been raised like that? I guess to stunt my impact so that I wouldn't be effective or be that's my equally true. That's getting better. Mm. Yeah, that's getting better. Take a look at the language in the dream, Sue, and try to match it in terms of the dream statement. Okay. It's what like are you doing in terms of the dream? I'm watering them because I, th I think they need it. Therefore, Therefore, you're doing these whatever you're doing these things because you think they need it. Right. Do they need it? No. Where did you get that? Is the question, Sue? Right. See, it's bizarre at that point. Well, well, it's not, it is and it isn't. Yeah. I mean, that's what people do to people. <laughs> I mean, I don't really, I mean, there's a sense that I'm cleaning them off, trying to wash them off, but, um, but the language, the, I'm watering them, they don't accept the water 
That sounds more like I'm watering a plant or something. And the water rolls off them. It's that's right. Weird language. No, that's perfect. Like I'm trying to treat hey, them hey. as though they're living creatures. <clears throat> and right. obviously they're, that's right. they're not. So what's up with that? No, it, it's perfect. <laughs> Shoot. You're not seeing them as people, but as things to water that have to fulfill your desire. What's your desire according to that dream? Uh, water everything before I leave. Get everything. Every, uh, mm. Because I think they need it. Yeah. When you go around doing what you're doing, yeah. how often does that come up? A lot. That's the dream. You see? And it's a major I, I, kind of internal voice. Yeah. They might need. They might need it. Therefore, you have to do it. And then it's my job to do it. Better do it in even, case they need it. Even though. Even though they may not need it. No, no, not may not. Not may not. Surely. Don't need it. Yeah. Can't use it. <laughs> Can't use it. Wasted. Wasted. Mm. Yeah. Why don't you help us out? Give us one example from the past couple of days where you did something for someone that they needed it, and you knew they needed it, and it worked out that they needed it. <laughs> well, it worked out they needed it. Well, there was a dog. I did something for. Good. Give it. His, sure. his pillow cushion was dirty, so yeah. I washed it. What for? The dog needed it? No, I needed it. <laughs> but it was yucky. I didn't want the dog. Yeah, the dog, I think the dog needed it. He needed a clean cushion. Whose dog was it? Well, it's Tony's dog. Why didn't he wash the fucking thing? Because he doesn't care. Or he, because I'm his cleaner. Yeah. I'm the one who does all the cleaning. Oh. He's busy. Oh, he's not. <laughs> no, he's not. Okay. That's the way you understand it. He's busy. Okay, so you asked for an example of something where I did something for someone else and they needed it. Yeah. Not that you did something for someone else who... Who didn't need it. Yeah. He needs to do it. He needs to do it for his own dog. Right, he needs to Are do you it. helping him? Well, that's a question. I don't think it's actually helping him. It actually means what? <laughs> it means, no, I'm not helping him. Huh? I'm helping to keep a delusion alive. Huh? It's your life. What do you think of it? It sucks. I want that to stop. But you're stuck not to him. Hey. You're not going to see it until you figure out how the hell you got the job. Yeah. Hmm. We're back to the ancient question, isn't it? <laughs> What's the ancient question? Well. It appeared you got the job at home, didn't it? Oh, yeah. Did, uh, are you operating under someone's rules? Seems like it. Okay, let me give you an example of something that happened the other night. Because it seems like it's part of this, but I don't see how it really fits. So I go to this talk with this lady. Now, I'm going to challenge you. Okay. Okay. I don't think in the slightest degree that oh. you are puzzled by this story that you claim not to understand. Well, it's a story what, where what, I'm what, what, I want okay, to do I'm something for myself. That's, that's, okay, go ahead. Okay. So, it's like 10 o'clock at night, and she goes, let's go to McDonald's. And I go, okay. I mean, who is she? She's an old neighbor of mine from Irvine. Yeah, why are you, uh, why are you relating to her? Well, I had invited her to go to a... Why are you in, Why are you relating? Because I wanted 
somebody to go with me to this talk about archaeology. Oh, and she's the ideal person to go to have. Well, she has on archaeology relatives in the area. Pardon. Ethnically, is she the person who is an ideal person to go to a talk? No, on but archaeology? the ideal people I couldn't reach. So you what you and decided to go with someone who finish it? Who might find it interesting? Not well, turned out she did like it. Yeah. I could have gone alone. And to tell you the truth, it would have been better to go alone. Uh -oh. End of story. Because I ended up using her as a kind of Thank you. shield. To, I avoided people down there. Yeah. Who I should have and could have talked with. Yeah. See? See? See, you knew the whole thing. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I said. And I vacillated whether I should call her or not. Yeah. And then I thought, well, maybe it would benefit her. <laughs> and then in the end... Maybe she needed it. Maybe she needed... Yeah, she needed a kind of educational event. What do you think of what you just said? It's just all bullshit. Thank you. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> and in the end, she, I dropped her off. She said, oh, we always have so much fun together. And I thought, this is fun. No, we don't. But you knew it all the way. You yeah. knew the whole thing. Okay. How is it you're acting against what you know? I don't know, but it sure uses up a lot of time. How is it I act against what I know? Yeah, you know that. You knew from the beginning. Right, right, right. Boy. And you even knew that the cost, it, <laughs> the cost was it kept you from relating to people who you wanted to relate it to. Right. You know, there's that image of the angel, you know, like it was angelic what I did no, to no, call no. her. I thought where it would be selfish to go alone. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Yeah. Just tell us where you got that crazy image of an angel. That was my mother. Go ahead. Let's do it. Give me a scene with her where she created that image in your mind. Come on. Well, I had my girlfriend for a long time, a few years. We did everything together all day and played baseball together. And then one day my mother says, okay, you can't go to her house anymore. You have to be her teacher. <laughs> you have to be her teacher from now on. Oh, wait. Well, I love that. <laughs> So it's like I have this no, no, wait, 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 wait. Yeah. Excuse okay. me. Sometimes there are things that are funny. And I have to <laughs> laugh. Okay. Let me start over. Yeah, you had this friend and your mother then said no longer go ahead. What did she say? Can't be friends with her anymore. Can't be friends with her. No. You have to be her Her teacher. <laughs> so you have to like go over there and arrange how you're gonna be her teacher or something. And it's like, well, wait, should no, no. she come here, or do wait, I go wait, 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 wait. Give us a picture of how she looked at that one. Wow, it was uh, trippy. It was like she had a profound understanding of some function for me that was how not just she, play. I couldn't yeah, play yeah, yeah. anymore. I had to... But she created that. How, how did she look? Come on. How did she look at that time? Very sincere. Sincere, more, come on. And committed and clear sighted. Committed, one -pointed. excited? Clear sighted. Clear sighted. God, more, come on. And uh, one pointed. One pointed. And she had a profound moral insight into profound, my function. Profound moral insight into Definition. my function. Yeah. How did you pick that up looking at the broad? <laughs> oh, excuse me, your mother. She's one-pointed, sincere, clear-seeing. Well, she just was cutting off my play. I mean, that was my playmate, uh, that girl. None, none, go oh. back, come on. See, you concluded from this that she had a 
divine moral insight yeah. into your very character. Right. So I mean, what did you see about her that had that power? What she never she told me any. She would never tell me stuff to do. She was telling me now. Thank you. It, it broke her whole pattern. Yeah. This, this broke everything in the past. This is unique, isn't it? Yeah. She came out for you. Yeah. In a way she never did before. Yeah, and it was it was oh, more, for God. me. I got the sense that, wow, this she's saying this is for me. This is my, for my benefit. So um, I thought, she knows more than me. So Unless I, that is true, nobody in history has ever had a problem. Hmm. Say it again. She, she knows more knows. than me. Yeah, that has to be present for every pathologos. You have to believe they know, and you're the whole, you're the dummy. Yeah. They're showing something which is incredibly true. You're, right, they're revealing something. Uh -huh. They're telling you something that they never told you before. You had to be at that age in that relationship. Yeah. All that had to come together. Uh-huh. Powerful that moment, wasn't it? Ever see her like that again? In your whole life? <clears throat> well, you know, it was like when she would check my clothes before I went to school. She. You know, she'd always say, oh, you need to roll your socks down or wear longer this or shorter that. I don't know. She just, no. she didn't want me to be. No. no, that follows from this teaching. She never appeared this way again. Not that, well, yeah, that was a big thing. Yeah. By the way, who looked angelic? She did. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I've done, I've played that. <laughs> I've played that card a lot. Uh, because it was so admirable. Hey. Yeah. You saw her, real, coming out for you. Right. Yeah. She changed her whole way of being. She now came out in a new way for you. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Memorable. You exist. Yeah, and I better... It you respect exist. that. Yeah, in spite of the fact it's bullshit. Wow. So rarely she comes out like that and That's I'm right. gonna, and I'm gonna cast it aside as bullshit. Yeah, oh you could have you could have said, Hey mom, how come you didn't you don't act that way all the time? How come you've ignored me my whole life until this moment? Uh, why are you doing it because I have a friend and I'm in a relationship that looks positive? Why are you afraid of my relationships, Mom? Yeah, it's true. It, it destroyed our relationship. There's yeah. probably jealousy. That's what it was about, that. wasn't it? Yeah. Well, and it could have been, a, you know, she had a brother who I was pretty hot on. Who I was pretty turned on by. So I think she's trying to discourage me from going over there. What do you mean? You, in, you think? Yeah. Now I'm going. Now if I go over there, I'm like the marm or something. The teaching. That's right. Marm. Yeah. <laughs> so. But it was overwhelming to me when she it said is. it. Hey, it I, is. Hey, I could not have said. Uh, hey, wait, wait a minute, is, wait a minute. Like, what? what do you mean you couldn't have said it? It was, it was so tremendous well, for her look to here. say this. <laughs> I was only like about 10. That's right, that has to be at that age. <laughs> because she came out in a way she never did before, <laughs> just for you. Yeah. You now exist. That's true. They now exist. They now exist, yeah. Before that, she ignored you. Yeah. 
Now you exist. Mm -hmm. And she gave you a job. Yeah. She's the angel bequeathing to you yeah. your destiny. Yeah. It's a religious event. Yeah, and it wasn't like a job, like you need no, to no. get paid. It was like, no. this is your function. It's your function. Right? From now on, when you're yeah. there, you are yeah. a teacher. Yeah. By the way, uh, now why don't you tell us how good you were as a teacher? Well, I think I stopped going over there because uh, it was too well, weird. Then what happened to your role? Well, I became her slave. That's when I started doing her housework. That's right. She had a big mangler hey. in the basement. Hey. She taught me how to do the sheets on the mangler. and She'd keep me home just to iron clothes. Well, she watched TV, and we'd be slave. in the same room. Yeah. Became her slave. Yeah, and that's how it is with this current situation. It's the same thing. No. Oh. Oh. You want to lose your wings? Want to keep them? Hmm. The wings. You're an angel. You got wings. Yeah. Let me go back to the question. She told you to go there being to be a teacher. How good were you as a teacher in that relationship? Or did it end it? You know, it seems like I went there and tried to, to tell her that what my mother had said, and I couldn't quite get it straight. Like, I'm supposed to be your teacher. And we were both kind of looking at each other going, what? Teacher what? It was So how was good weird. were you at them playing this role? You shared it with her. Did she give you the finger? And I think basically, yeah. What do you mean basically? Well, our relationship ended then. Well, how good were you as a teacher? Then how good was your mother's advice? Bizarre. It's be a teacher? What the hell is that? It's an impossible task. Just yeah, like this stuff. Not only impossible, a stupid one. Stupid. Mm. Yeah. I mean, these were not people who wanted to be taught. This girl I, friend I had. Why, whole, wait, why does any friend of yours want to be a, want you to change the role? Right. So wasn't it curious that you didn't go back to your mother and say, Hey, Mom, I tried to be a teacher. I failed. Yeah. I don't know, that didn't even, and she never followed up, like, how's your teaching going? Yeah. Right. No. I don't see you doing lesson That's right. plans or never, anything. It never happens, does it? No. Fraud from the beginning, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, but keep the wings. It's really great to have them. Hey, hey, hey. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, that's right. See, it's all it in that line, isn't it? Um, because I think they need it. Mm -hmm. That's your role, the heavenly angel. He's going to do all kinds of things that happen to be uh, necessary, unnecessary, destructive or creative. Unnecessary and creative. And destructive. Just well, like it me. destroyed your relationship. Yeah. Interesting dream, isn't it? <clears throat> Are you cooking something? Well, there was um, the smell of barbecue, yeah. what, oil. Yeah. Okay, some guys are barbecue. Yeah, that's um, what's happening. Thanks, Bob. Fire started. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm.
Well, in the end, I, you know, I'm tr trying to decide if I should do A or B, and neither of them involves me. Of course. So I'm, I'm. But that's an angel's function, playing angel. Right. like my mother had the inside scoop on what my girlfriend needed like I'm thinking how did she know that she needed a teacher what did you think of that well that was that was the further awesomeness of her direction it was like wow you know these things you know my friend that well that yeah. and did she that this is the time hey, this and is did she no and it's all a fraud. It's all fraudulent. But it, she looks so good, you can't deny her appearance. She looks so appearance. good, right. The one time... <clears throat> she's an angel. She acts like she knows. She became an angel. Yeah, it was like divine And you want to imitate that. You want to imitate her. Yeah. Good. Get down to your, your wings. Yeah, that's good. Hold on to them. Oh, yeah, okay. Interesting. Okay. What, what do you find interesting then? Well, I, you know, this kind of crap. I don't know. I wonder. What? There is an interesting part of this dream, and I'm just wondering about the function of dreams. Um, that uh, it, the first line, a sentence and a half, you could have left it there. Mm -hmm. There's enough information there to yeah. drop a problem. That's right. And 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 so to persist in um, so you already have a way of recognizing. Well, do you mind if I read it? No, go ahead. I was trying to leave, and I was watering the flowers. And I wanted to water everything before I left, and I had done a pretty good job around my house. Yeah. At that point, you it seems like you're able to recognize. When you're done, I just want to yeah. a, a, a part of the dream that can reflect on itself and mm -hmm. and and a, kind of like a Lucia part of the dream. And the first part that you mentioned is so proper, right? That is, you did have a goal. I was going to leave. Right. Therefore, you can't fulfill your 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 own desire. Right. With this angelic function. Right, right, right. In the end, I have this decision to make, neither of which is going to advance my needing to leave. Yeah. I'm going to be stuck there as an angel. Yeah. Look here, the world needs a lot of angels. Keep your job. That woman really needed you. I got a lot of water in you. I got room in my garage now. Do you want to move in? <laughs> yeah. Angels need special accommodations. Oh, sorry. <laughs> they need Good wing stickers. washers. <laughs> wing washers. And wing nuts. <laughs> A lot of wing nuts. Yep. And a wing man. <laughs> yeah. Otherwise, you're just winging it. <laughs> always winging it. <laughs> that accounts for my well, always winging it. But she looked really mar marvelous, didn't she? She was marvelous. Yeah. Very, very marvelous. Came out just for you. To the prophetic view of life and your destiny. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. As long as you believe that, you're hooked. Mm. Ah. Did you have the question in the moment at what should I teach her or why should I teach her? Or did no. you just take it in completely? Because the way you tell the story, sometimes it sounds like there was no question. Because you said, why didn't you say something? Can't. Well, I'm wondering if she had the thought or not. Like, I think I did, something. and I, th I think I went to her house and maybe said, so what do you need to learn? Or it seems like maybe math became the... I meant for your mom. Oh. oh. Um, Could... Is it, yeah. What is he asking you? If I got found any specifics about what I was supposed to teach her. Because yeah. Yeah. you wondered, does she need to be taught? Like when your mom tells you can't be your friend anymore, go be your teacher. 
And you had asked. Yeah, it's interesting. It seems like my mother thought she needed a moral, moral education. Because she was from a family that was a lot of delinquency and the mother was single and partying and drinking all the time and it was a lot of they had a reputation of being a lot of fun a lot of fun <laughs> a lot of fun and yeah it was a lot they had a you know a hot car with a hot fun with a fun convertible top that yeah. was red and they rode around in it and yeah. they were hot they were fun yeah. So you don't remember, though, having the question if, if your friend needed to be taught or not. You did just believe it completely. I believe that that was my challenge. That was my challenge, <laughs> to figure this out. That's true, but it's not. The overwhelming presence of your mother being angelic and revealing to you a secret your own destiny overcame you. Her yeah. appearance finishes. At that moment, her appearance. Shakanawa. Shakanawa. Unquestionable. It's a religious experience. Yeah, it's a religious experience. All pathologos is a religious experience. And to take on that challenge was awesome. Uh, no. Daunting. It was daunting. No, it wasn't. It's only under her image that it was awesome. Right. In reality, it's what? What's awesome about it? Yeah, it was the, under the image. In reality, it's undoable and bizarre and unneeded and unnecessary. <laughs> and unused, <laughs> I'm impossible and all the, all the uns. Destructive. Yeah, Peter's word. Destroyed your friendship. Destroyed the friendship, so, yeah. And I yeah. became this weird person. And I've played this card many a time. So don't give it up. It's a good job. We, we, we enjoy having you know, a lot of fun when you tell us all these stories about how you help people that don't need help, and we always laugh at it. So you don't want to change your image, do you? Man, that's powerful. Yeah, 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 I thought, yeah, yeah. yeah. Shit. So she became a mother she just... Been here three days from now. <laughs> <laughs> well, she became... She became a mother just to lay this one on me? I mean, that's about all she did. That's all she needs to do to pass on the teaching her mother gave her. What do you mean all? Super powerful game that controls just about your every waking minute? <laughs> that's, that's pretty magnificent as a game. Yeah. Total. Mm -hmm. So be careful about changing because if you change it one thing, everything will fall. Like what would happen if you just tell that gentleman you happen to know? Why don't you take care of your own dog, asshole? What would happen? Silence. I've done it. And? Silence. He knows. That you'll go back to it? Yeah. So what? what? Uh, yeah, sometimes I'll even say, I'll, I'll take care of the dog today. I'll feed the dog today. I'll... And that's enough. And that's enough for you to continue playing the game. Right. But, I mean, if I were to move out totally, the dog is going to be lonely. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> what do you think I'm of that? I'm glad you think it's so funny. <laughs> 
Because it is, isn't yeah, it? It's hilarious, but it, poor dog. I mean, shit. So you're going to stay there See, to keep it. the dog, dog coming? Dog, dog, dog. Yeah. Every time See, the dog gets hungry, an angel gets her wings. Every day she's, she's there, she will appear angelic to the dog. <laughs> Saving the dog. <laughs> yeah, she's dead. She's dead. That's why I say don't, don't take this too seriously. <sighs> Oh, See, I like, I like what Pierre did at the end, and Josh picked up on it also. All right. He really pushed it from unnecessary to destructive. That's, that's true. where the power is in this, right? This is what your mother's doing to your relationship yeah. with your friend, right? Yeah, that's the. And I think you could. <clears throat> that's true. I think the opportunity for you, and I'm kind of couching this as advice, <sighs> but I shouldn't. But is is like a yoga for you. Yeah. You could take every little thing in your life and say, not only can I ask myself, if, how is this unnecessary, but I can ask myself Pierre's question, which is, how yeah. is this destructive? Like, even the smallest thing, like washing that stupid dog, you know, it, it's a great dog, actually, but it's, it's, it's pillow, right? Yeah. How is this destructive to me, to Tony, to the dog, to the relationships between us? Even washing the pillow, what am I destroying? What what could Tony be? What could I be? What could our relationship be? If I didn't wash this pillow, what have I destroyed here? And if you did that for every All the time little for thing myself in your and life, writing. not just unnecessary, yeah. That's what but, I want. But, but I think there's more than just what you could be doing. Of course, that's huge in, in our world here, right? The goals we could be pursuing in the secondary. But what has been destroyed? You focus on that in every little thing in your life. Mm -hmm. Not just unnecessary, what's, what's been obviated, but what has been destroyed. Yeah, I'm ask one more thing, sir. What was going on that you side, decided at that moment to wash the pillow? What goal well, did she have that she sacrificed to do this extraordinary act? Especially while it's spring break and I have free time. For myself. So at that moment, I'll wash the pillow instead of do the book. Instead of anything. Yeah, but I think, yeah, see, the thing is, that's... Yeah. I was just wondering if he knew that I have a dream and Dave has a dream, and I don't know who else has a dream. Yeah, we might want to move. I know we're still, know. this is a worthwhile project. I just didn't know if he knew that, so I was sharing. But there, I mean, but the thing is, the reason why I'm pushing this instead of Pierre's good question, which is what goal could I have worked on, right? Because I'm wondering if it might actually help to cut through that image. You know, this, you're, in the dream, I'm frustrated, right? I'm, trying, blah, blah, blah. I'm really trying to get these things which are not even animate, watered, right? Is it possible that actually these things themselves, not just me and my goals, but I've actually destroyed something for them, too. Like, is it possible that Tony is not actually the beneficiary or his dog, but actually, he's actually worse off than he could be? Right. My asking that so. question might cut through I that think I'm, frustration. Yeah, preventing him from growing. Well, but I think Pierre's question was, what do you, what goal are you in the process of? Like that, this is going consequences, going one direction, that's what you're pushing. But it seems like you ought to go the other direction as well, like what goal were you on? Yeah. When you mm -hmm. decide that you need to do one of these right. things. Right. You need to focus it back on yourself. Because yeah. that's another way of focusing on the object. Yeah. Oh, that's not benefiting. Let's well, see, I mean, what it was, way I could was I doing benefit? laundry anyway for other people, so it was like, I'll just throw the dogs thing in. You were doing laundry <laughs> anyway for other people. Yeah. Yeah. You had one I already had in. my wings on. Yeah. So, um, one more last question. Um, <clears throat> what was going on, do you think, at the time that your mother spotted this was the time to challenge your relationship with your girlfriend? Why did she pick that moment? Anything going on? Were you two going to be doing anything together or anything? or? Anything you can recall about it? Well, it was summertime. Mm -hmm. Beginning or end? or? Uh, I think it was the beginning of oh. summer. Oh. Okay, so um, 
that meant we would have been, you know, going to the park every day and playing baseball. And well, what happened to your interest in baseball? Well, that would have ended too. It would have or did? Yeah, it did. Because hmm. I was like the pitcher and the captain on the team, and she was a shortstop, and hmm. we were we were a real team, and we were really active and good. And this did what to it? That ended it. Hmm. Thank you. Yeah. Because my mother didn't participate in that. She never came to the games or. Yeah, she showed a great interest in it. Plus, yeah. Julie mentioned earlier the hot brother she was interested in. Yeah. So I like to put the kibosh on that too, because it was like. Well, it seems to fit with the dream you you explored a couple weeks ago, where your mom t dressed you in that ugly dress. Yeah, that was. And she's making you into a certain before. image. Right, right, right. Like, playing baseball goes along with that image, or <laughs> what does that do? <laughs> if you were to continue down that path and be the star baseball pitcher on the team. Well, that would be part, part of the image, I guess. Which image? Of, I don't know, dressing me like a boy or something. But... I was discovering that she was neglecting me. I was discovering that mm, I was I was discovering that. Yeah, because that girlfriend's sister's friend was a beautician or in beauty school. And twice I was she asked me if she could do my hair. So she washed my hair and like the water was black. And she said to me, Why is the wa why is the water so black when I wash your hair? First time I thought, I don't know. And the second time, I kind of we kind of came to the conclusion that it was my hair was dirty. So when I realized that, I mean, it was later as an adult that I realized that my mother just totally neglected us. She didn't have us take showers. She didn't wash my hair, so my hair was always real greasy, and that was part of the boy look. It was kind of so greasy my hair, I could just like comb it back into a ducktail, <laughs> and. I thought, oh, that's just me. I'm just kind of... Greasy. Greasy. That's my nature. Mm -hmm. I look like a boy. That's just my nature. But then um, I started to piece it together. and So for her to say, don't hang out with that girl anymore. That meant all of those other things. Yeah. See, the question... See, yeah. the question that being asked is, so what? Yeah. What are you going to do with it? Right. Hmm. That's up to you. Right. Right? Yeah. But we can go back and do this again and again. Yeah. Mm. That is the question. Sir. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Right. No, I'm good. Thank you. Okay, thank yeah. you very much. Yeah. Brave. Did a lot of good work. By the way, the other work. two dreams are just like that one. Yeah, they are. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anybody? Boom, 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 boom. Thank you, Barb. Sure, you're welcome. Shall we take a two-minute break, uh, or shall we move right through? I'm fine either way. Why do I suggest that? I so, don't... is there a yet another dream that I don't, I'm not aware of? I mean, there's my dream, okay. and David's dream, and is there another dream? Speak now or forever. Hold you. Okay, let's do it. Okay. Do you have copies of more copies of yours, Barbara? You right here. The Monday morning, April. Yeah. Okay. This, 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 this. Sorry. This yeah, this is the one I sent to you. Go ahead. So that's why it's a little older. Um. Monday morning, April third. We were besieged. A bunch of us. The people with us are preparing weapons, and the fighters, the soldiers, all of us are very aware of the horror of our situation. I say horror, but actually we are very focused and feeling we are going to stay cool and do as much as we can. So everyone is preparing as best they can, but there's definitely some fighters among us, and those are leading and telling us the best way. Everyone is paying attention and acting as a unit. 
their soldiers. So at a certain point it becomes obvious that they are actually breaking in. We're in a big house of some sort, a feeling of it's happening, it's beginning now. And you can see the small area. There used to be a window in the door is breaking open, being pried open. And there's a flash of piercing fear, but not a weakening fear. So in the next scene in the dream, we're all running in a group to escape. It's like we're on a forced march, focused, unified, a force as well, alert. We're being led away by one of the leaders, and there's some talk among us, some discussion about that leader, that he is getting us away because he wants to sorry, stay and be with the woman that is leading the opposition. And that's the first time that person is referred to as a woman. She would just as soon we were all killed. Everyone was destroyed. But he's made some kind of an arrangement and is getting us away. But we have to go fast with him. And then he's going to, that's not clear, but it's for the purpose of his ultimately being with her. That's the way the dream ends. Hmm. I used to have all these running away dreams, but nothing like this, where I'm actually like focused and clear-headed. See, there's a... Uh, what do you think this uh, dream depends upon? Does it have a focus, well, a pivot? A pivot. Well, the problem for me is this last paragraph in the middle of it. Oh. You know, it's like, <laughs> we're afraid of this thing, and yet we're leaving so that we don't get killed, but so that the guy who's leading us away can get together with the opposition the opposition mm -hmm. the woman of the opposition yeah. Yeah. so it's very baffling in one way and it's, it's like that's like an overlay in the dream you know that that thinking of of the group like we're going mm -hmm, mm -hmm, you know we're thinking and we're all running mm -hmm. and focused and so it's on the one hand it's a good thing we're getting away if the goal is to destroy us all. On the other hand, it just seems odd that, I don't know, it just, it, there's like a, um, a puzzle there mm -hmm. that that dynamic should be that way. Where in the dream you actually see like a pry bar coming through this little window mm -hmm. and we're all staring at it and going, whoops, you know, this is it, this is the moment we have to go. And so, and And we don't actually have any weapons. People who are not the soldiers, we don't have any weapons. I don't know if that plays a role. But I find it very odd. I find it very odd. Partially for the reason I told you, is I used to have these dreams where I was running in great fear all by myself over hills and jumping across buildings. And I haven't had a dream like that in probably 30 years. And so now I have this running dream and it's of such a st different nature. Mm. What do you find curious about this dream? The same thing I just told you. No, no. Oh, okay. But, well, uh, okay. No. I'm asking a different question. Okay. 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 In terms of the drama of the dream, mm -hmm. to stay, as it were, in the first couple of sentences, just stay there. Um. So you hear your phone? No. In the first sentences, so oh, go ahead. We are besieged. Thank we you. were besieged. Mm -hmm. is, is that what's going on in the dream? In the dream, there's a sense of an enemy force outside the wall of the house. Okay. Uh, and that it, we couldn't uh, in the in the opening besieged. The feeling is surrounded. Okay. But that doesn't appear to be the case. No kind of like a one-sided one frontal attack okay okay but okay. 
then what would you say is the drama that's going on now? Just stay in the dream. First couple of sentences. Well, I say we're preparing, but in the dream we're not actually doing anything. We're standing and watching, watching the door. I get the sense there's somebody's talking to us, maybe, but yeah. it's yeah. more of a mental preparation. Yeah. 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 What's yeah. the drama? Mm. Waiting for that critical moment of the actual attack starting. Um, I get your question, and I don't really... Let me ask it again. Uh, <clears throat> you're aware that you're going to be... Attacked. Attacked. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, on your side, what are they doing at that moment in, pre in getting prepared for the attack? Well, they appear to be doing nothing. That's right. What are they doing? Nothing. No, no. Oh. Well, it says that we're um, preparing as best we can. Keep going. But there's um, definitely some fighters, and they're leading and telling us the best way. They're telling. They're telling? Yeah, they're, they're telling, yes, aren't they? Yes, they're telling. Yeah, what are they doing? They're telling us what to do. Yeah. Or they're really... Actually, they're telling us about the situation. They're telling us about the what, what they're describing the situation we're in, the difficulty of it. I think is more precise. So see, it's. I have to see the dream mm. as you're experiencing it, and I want to know. You're aware that you are going to be attacked. Mm. True. Mm. Yes. Right. Is this a good time to be told about the situation? Or to uh, be in it, or to set up your defenses? I mean, what, what, what's going on? Um, well, it's like they are describing uh, the nature of the enemy. And, uh, yeah, but we're not actually, we're not actually like, it's, it's a house, you know, it, it isn't capable of very much in the way of defenses. <clears throat> Strong house, but not a stone house. Just a wood house. Oh. Um, you know, it's like a 1940s, circa 1940s house. Like a, um, so the walls are <clears throat> good bore, good wood, but that's all they are is good wood. So that's why this pry bar can break. See there. Appear to be uh, experienced warriors, and uh, they're in a very good defensive situation. No, and they're preparing their troops to fight. It, it, at first, that was what I said in the dream, but um, but that's not what's going on. But that's not what's going on. No, oh. we're kind of preparing to leave. Well, um, no, that comes later. That comes later. Um, are they just scaling up the enemy there? <laughs> um, hmm. Well, we're stand I in the dream, we're all standing in a row, facing this wall and this doorway, narrow hallway to the front door. And um, there's a sense of preparation going on. But nobody, I mean, if there is preparation, it's being done by the soldiers, and they're doing guns other than the ones talking to us. They're, that, that's very, they're very much a possibility. But we are not preparing with guns or weapons well, then or anything. Just on the face of it, would you give a grade to the uh, preparations for this combat? Well... You know, it's within the scope of the dream, I'm not sure. But it seems as if you'd want people to, like, take pieces of furniture and put them up against that door so yeah. that they could yeah. get yeah. in. Yeah. You know, I mean, there's got to be things in the house yeah. that could be... Yeah. So then I would have to grade it as an F. <laughs> uh -huh. right. A lot of awareness, no defenses. That's right. A lot of time to talk. A lot of time to talk. A lot of time to give useful directions. Oh, yeah, but not prep 
But. But not, we didn't get any. No. Yeah. But there's really, so in that sense, saying preparing is uh, pathologos or uh, mm. false terminology. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Now, looking at it now, just the first couple of sentences with that in mind. Okay. Well, it looks like I'm buying into the story that's being told. Yeah. Therefore, I'd like to know what state of mind were you in when you were being told that in the middle of an imminent attack? Mm. That's a good question. Um, well, I have to say it feels a lot like a dog, like a, an attentive pointer at a hunt, you know, in the sense of I'm paying attention, but I am completely passive and waiting for the order, you know, waiting for whatever direction. I'm not raising a question. I'm... I think I am becoming a part of that group. You know, in order to be in that group, I have to not be um, acting yeah. or leading yeah. or asking. But it feels very In spite of the fact that it's good. an imminent attack. Yep. It feels very good. Mm. In fact, it reminds me of... Although this is going to sound like a strange example. When I was maybe in high school... Go ahead. I, we were in Mexico. And the earthquake hit Alaska. And we were camping on the beach. And so the s national forces came along and said, Everybody has to leave the beach. Big tsunami coming. And um, my dad started up the car to go, and we had a flat or something. So I'm panicky, but, um, and it seemed to me like he was doing something really wrong. Right now I don't remember what it is. But it was like that he was more concerned about fixing the car than getting us out of there. Like everybody's trying to, everybody's trying to flee. But my dad is fixing the car. Yeah. And it was something, and, 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 and it was, good. you know what I mean? Yeah, oh yeah. 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 By the way, <clears throat> likely to be typical of him, isn't he? My dad had a habit of doing that kind yeah. of thing. Yeah, yeah. He had a habit of, yeah. of uh, like, not preparing until the last minute, not fixing things well enough that they could go on. Um, Enjoyed putting the family in. Oh, peril! Yeah, we peril. we felt felt really. Um, there was times I remember one time we were coming up from a. He was right. I mean, um, we were coming up from a buying lobster in Mexico. We were down on a dirt road, going up the side of a cliff, and there was a big chunk of the road missing out of the road at one point. I mean, I say big. It was probably oh. four foot wide. Sure. And, so it was kind of scary looking. And I was saying to my dad, do you mind if you let me out on this side and I'll walk and meet you up there? Because I didn't want to go in a big heavy vehicle across that opening. And he would not let us out. So, um, we're, and I don't know if I was the only one, but I remember my hair was standing on end. I was going like, ah! And he got a lot of momentum and went right across and everything was fine. But I was freaked out. What is he doing? Uh... And there was one other time. He, there was one other time where he was totally drunk, and we were in a campground at pitch black, no lighting, primitive campground. And there was a group having, uh, uh, making a lot of noise and music about 100 yards away, 50 yards away. And so he gets on his gun, and he's standing there in his shorts, because he's woken up. And he's going to shoot his gun to get them to stop, because he's totally blasted, and he's going, I... Yeah, you guys, if you don't shut up, you know, and he's like wobbling like this, and my mother's going, Jack, Jack, don't do it, Jack, you know, like that. So that's going on. 
and I and I know that those guys down there cannot hear him. She knows that. He might even know that. But he, there's my mother is totally focused on him, and and we're petrif we're afraid that he's going to do something horrifying, you know. So it seems like my dad liked to horrify us. Yeah, yeah. make us really afraid. Yeah. And then nothing would happen, and we would be fine. But we would still have gotten gone through a period of like extreme fear. Yeah. Mm. Like the tsunami didn't actually hit down there, yeah. too far south. That's the dream. Hmm. Look at the dream. Hmm. Oh, that's true. That's, that's true. This is, this is him getting my mom yeah. as a result of being the hero yeah. Yeah. when there was no hero yeah. and there was no enemy. Yeah. Mm. And, and the leader betrays the troops. And the leader betrays the troops for the sake of this liaison. Hmm. I wonder how this fit with what I've been doing. Yeah, well, now it's... Yeah, so it's a little, little more. Okay. Yeah, a little more precision. Okay. Yeah, so we're doing good. Okay. Okay. All right. What's he doing? The leader in the dream. Uh, either one. Either, either or my dad. Um. Okay. He, my dad is like. You can't communicate to him. He's doing things that but, are. Is that necessary. equally true in the dream? Oh, the leader is now talking. Yeah, and you can't get through to him. You can't either. get through to him. Go ahead. Yeah, and so he's like my. So I can remember looking at my dad doing this thing with the car, mm -hmm. and he is not. You can't say anything to him. Mm -hmm. He, he's like a made of stone, and he's just doing what he's doing, and we're all freaked out totally, you know. And um, but that's interesting about him, that he's just. Uh, what would the word be? He's just going on with what he's doing. He's very phlegmatic about it. It's like, okay, now I'm going to do this. Now I'm going, and I think he was probably fixing a tire or something. Like it's not something that was completely inessential. It was maybe he needed, but he didn't deal with us at all. He didn't say, look, children, you know, we do need to get the tire going. We can't just hitch a ride or walk our way up there. But I think we're, you know, we're safe for the moment, so just chill out, you know. No, he didn't communicate at all with us about anything. So, I mean, to be fair, I think it was a tire or something, but I also know that we were petrified, you know. You also know that there's a pattern that no one challenged. Right. My mother didn't say anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's playing the hero's wife. Yeah. You know, it's like... Again and again and again. Yeah. Without saying... Hey, uh, why are we doing this again? Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. And I, my impression is we didn't have very far to go, and we mm. needed to get up to the uh, certain surface. And like I felt like, look, if there's a real danger here, why aren't we just like take, taking the rim as damage and go? You know, get up there. We don't have very far to go. But I, I couldn't ask. She couldn't ask, and she didn't ask. Because she gets to, she gets to see him as a good guy in this one instance, whereas the rest of the time she treats him like he's a schmuck. And at this time, it's the exact opposite. Right. He is the well, no. At this time, it is the exact opposite. But it looks like the exact opposite. You know. Well, I mean, he could communicate. She could communicate. But she's not allowed to say, she doesn't say anything. Because to say, oh, children, you know, it's not, the danger isn't quite as you see it. You know, it's really, we have enough time to fix this tire. If she were to do that, that would diminish the heroism. Ah, uh -huh, that's very important. And so, Let's they, preserve the hero. The fear, and so the hero, yeah, yes. Yeah. And the same thing with bears, and we used to go camping, and there used to be bears. And, my dad would get out, always in his white boxer shorts, throwing pieces of wood at the bears to get rid That's of them. That's very helpful. Well, it does get them out of your camp, uh, camp, but in the morning you don't have any firewood. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's certain consequences. You know, it's like everybody, everybody comes out of their camp and goes, oh, look, firewood. Whoop! <laughs> <laughs> That's By the way, is it likely that you guys enjoyed breakfast or the firewood? Enjoyed Without it? firewood? Yeah, yeah. And no, it was pretty cold there. So yeah. Firewood yeah. is a nice yeah. thing. He's fixing things up so that you can live normally and happily yeah. together. Oh, my God. 
It was pretty hair raising, I tell ya. Yeah. But you know, what is why if this is tolerated, if everybody agrees that this goes on, it's gonna go on in your life. Hmm. In some oh, way, right? That's now, interesting. Come on, now. You mean that well, I, I have been having a lot of um, things that scare me, scare the bejesus out of me, and that that's really hard to get my state of mind back and say, this is, this is not to be afraid of, my friend, you know, it's like in the yeah. middle of the night, if I wake up, I'll get some stupid thought, and I'm in the daytime, or another time I know, but it's interesting. Well, only because I've been struggling with them. A barrage of like the worst things that have happened to me in my life. I keep remembering all of them and going over and over and over like they're on a Ferris wheel. Go, that happened and that happened and that happened and then what it does is it destroys all my relationships with people in the sense of the bonds I feel. And then, well, and the and the interesting thing is, only this morning I kept saying to myself, why is this so intense right now? And one reason it's intense is that, um, you know, I, I'm back to working on the Timaeus and the Parmenides, but the Timaeus, and for the first time in my life, I'm saying, I'd really like to write something on this. And I'm really usually, I don't have that kind of thing. I think, eh, right, not right, who cares? And... So, and I would feared that when I went back to it, because I thought, when I first got involved in it, I saw this beautiful structure in the Timaeus. Mm -hmm. Just incredible. From the searches on revolutions and, um, there's three words for revolutions. Revolutions and trying to see what it was to rectify the, okay. So, and I thought, well, you, you let that go, you'll never see it again. And what? You let that go, you'll never see it again. You know, like you, you, you had it and you let it go. So I decided I would go back. I was like, okay, well, I could go back to the word search that g gave me those connections. Because you know how you used to talk about pearls, Pierre? You know, boy, that sequence of quotes was like pearls. Every quote added to this intelligible picture of what revolutions were and how they were the structure of the Timaeus. And it was just, wow. And, so then I had the feeling that I hadn't left it long enough that I would not remember it. And But when I started back in, I started seeing it again, and I thought, wow. So, I, I don't know what the... I just know that right now I've been like hammering myself. You said something quite interesting. You said that uh, it destroys relations. Yes, it destroys uh, my relationships. What did, what did these scenes with your father... <laughs> What were the consequences of those Oh, I scenes? think that was exactly the same. I didn't even want... I wanted to spit on him. I was so pissed off. It was like, really? Because I thought he was fucking with us. You That's know? Right. He was like... That's right. Say it again. He's... He's fucking with That's us. That's right. He's, That's he's, right. Um, yeah. Jerking our chain. You know yeah. what? All those synonyms, yeah. all those idiomatic yeah. expressions for m messing with our minds. Yeah. Mind fucking. That's what he's doing. You know, he, yes, right. he really is, and and he looks so innocuous, and my mother looks so loving and warm, and she isn't loving and warm. She is a fucking shrew. <laughs> and she is like the queen destructor of states of mind. He's the, he's doing it on these rare occasions where he can look good and get laid, and she mm -hmm. does it like all the time. So, and I've been, I've been having a lot of trouble with my sisters in that respect because they have decided they're double teaming me, and they they have this mindset when I go over, and, and they're just destructive. So I'm I'm trying to share with my sister something I'm seeing, and she's like, I know nothing about that, you know, and it's like, really, and you don't even care to hear anything about it, right? That's the implication of that whole sure. attitude, and I think, hmm. So everything I do is meaningless to them. So that's what I'm up against.
And yet I've decided, and that's probably what's bringing this on, I've decided that the work they're doing is meaningless to me. And I, I, I don't mean it's meaningless to them. They are welcome to it. But I used to always want to join. And that's maybe what's in the dream, too. Mm. To join, to be a part of that team. And now I'm saying, you're going to go to Mazatlan and then Ecuador and then Portugal to find somewhere else to live cheaply with medical benefits for old people? Good luck. Bon voyage. Bottle of champagne on your ship? Don't ask me. <laughs> Not interested. I mean, if they find somewhere, if I need a place, and if, you know, philosophy doesn't happen here, and we all decide to do it by Skyping, that's one thing. But this is the only place philosophy is happening. I'm not leaving. You know, I don't care where they go. So, anyway, that's a, that's a big crisis, I think, for them and for me. But, yeah, it absolutely... It's like yesterday I was talking to Jeff and I was telling him about these. Uh, we were talking about different things and, and I said, and Pierre said about me in a talk up at Best Thought Lodge that I was a philosopher, like one of the best philosophers, something like that. And I can't even like weigh that. I could have waited all my life to hear that. And I can't even let that have any weight in my soul. It's these other things. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah. I don't know what to think no, about no, that, but it seems like there's no, something, no, wait, no, I don't no, understand no, why. It seems like Julius. Wait, 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 come on. Okay. Yeah, come well, on. in my soul is this pattern. The only time my parents were sincere and warm and, and my dad was, quote, showing love and saving us, That those are those few scenes where he's acting like a complete asshole, yeah. you know? In the sense that he's not communicating and we're petrified and he doesn't deal with that at all. When he could. It wouldn't take much. You know, a few sentences. Uh, is it, uh, I think that uh, there's some rule against uh, talking about what exists? <laughs> I think so. Oh yeah. My family, people are surprised, but my family, we don't talk. There's no talk. Good, bad, indifferent, not in the house, no. No conversations. They, my family, you go to visit my family and they go from looking at a book to watching TV. Commercial, back to the book. No commercial, back to the television. And they say hello to you when you come in. And then they say, you're leaving already after two hours of silence? And it's like, yeah, I'm leaving. What's to stay for? So they don't talk. They don't communicate. And there's something... That, you know, you can't, I, the few times I've said anything to my mother, yeah, but, but changed our relationship. That, how does that fit? I don't know. See, so you're, you're, you're tying yeah, yeah. two things together, but... You, and maybe they're not tied, you think? No, no, we're just... Like, nobody talks about what's going on. Right. That's obvious. The most talk that went on right? came from the soldiers who told us about the earthquake in Alaska. Yeah, and that's, you know, so. very minor. Mm. My dad is not talking. He seems kind of bent out of shape that he has to actually deal with it, actually. Yeah. <laughs> no, he doesn't deal with it at all. I mean, he doesn't deal with us in the, in the yep. Or with the, or yeah. the threat. Yeah, that's true. But we all feel a sense of, like in the dream, of that yeah. unified sense. Yeah. Even though I'm watching and not liking it, and not liking it when it's finished and pissed off. See, now you're seeing, right? You're seeing on a high level. <clears throat> mm -hmm. And the family is, you're not allowed to talk about what's going on. Mm -hmm. Oh, and that, oh, that is so major in my life. That's, I mean, people often, I often walk away from a situation and I have all these things I could have said, but it never occurs to me to say them. You know, never like, oh, I could say this. It's no, when I get away and I'm like, I'm driving in my car, I think, why didn't I say? Yeah. <clears throat> well, actually, usually I say it to someone else because I want to know if there's any validity in it. I think that if I want to say it, there's a real question as to whether there's any truth in what I'm seeing, yeah. and therefore I, I want to check it before I say it.
See now, uh, everything you're saying about your father and your mother. It's gonna be. Does it have any validity? Mm. Right. Exactly. <clears throat> there. Is there any talk about it? No. There's no talk about, and there's no validity in what they're doing. Yeah. See, what follows if, if these events occur again and again, and no one talks about them? They're the high point, and they're high point. They're high points, and they're drama. <clears throat> hmm. Well, then you you get the feeling that if you don't talk about the high points, then you're not going to talk about anything. That's really. Right. That's right. That's the message. And then there's no relationship. And therefore, there's no relationship. Ah, mm. right, 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 wow. right. Therefore, it destroys relations. Mm. Oh, yeah. And therefore, the only relationships you have is with other people who don't who don't talk about yeah. their relations. You know, who don't talk about anything. You yeah. saw your family. You yeah. stuck with your family. Hmm. Of course. That's interesting. I'm thinking that that cycle, that wheel of past crimes, is something my mother does. You know, it's always that it's that's all she wants to talk about is those past crimes of my father. You know, that's all she. Like one time, I was only ever invited back to the inner sanctum <laughs> once. My mother's room, she's laying down in, in their bedroom, mid-afternoon, my dad's in the other room. And she wants to share, I guess. And I had never been invited to one of these. So she starts talking about what a p horrible person my dad is. Mm -hmm. And my reaction is, well, why don't you do something about it? Get a divorce, talk to him, you know, whatever it takes. Why don't you take some... She says, I don't want you to make any suggestions. You're just supposed to listen. Right? No talking. No talking. No sharing what you see. Mm -hmm. and, and when he was in the hospital and his doctor wasn't treating him properly, and that's why he was in the emergency room, and I brought it up to her, she goes, she had what the doctor said, which was, your dad smokes and drinks, so there's, it's like, therefore there's no reason to, to try to save his life. Killed him. Yeah, and so I said to her, if you feel that way about it, you need to like get a divorce and get out of here because that's not right. You know, I said that doesn't mean anything. He needs a good doctor, so I got him a different doctor, and he made some incredible progress back. What did she do? What did she do? She oh, did. she did not like it. She hated me for that. Both times I saved my dad's life, she hated me for that. She and it was like I'm his wife. I should be. I'm the one who's supposed to take those actions. And she was like, he was in his bedroom dying, and the paramedics, I got the, her to call the paramedics. They call the paramedics, and then the paramedics want to know what's been going on, and she starts getting in line of crap. And I said, no, 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 no. Let me tell you what happened. And I laid out before her what, what had actually transpired. And she's pissed off. She's saying, I, I'm the one. And, I, and I'm like, well, you're not telling them what happened. So I wanted them to know exactly what happened. They actually say brought him back again. His blood sugar was off the low end of the... Mm -hmm. Could not be measured by the blood sugar measurer mm -hmm. because he was over-medicated for diabetes because his doctor didn't think he deserved to live longer because he smoked and drank. Good doctor. Oh, man. What a, so I was so pissed off. It was like, what is that guy? Why, why do you have that guy? He told me that over the phone. I was like... I don't want him, he says, you don't want your dad to live past his allotted time, do you? And I said, I prefer he doesn't die of starvation, because he wasn't eating. And the guy's not dealing with that. And I, I'm just... So there were times when I took action, and mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. was able to function well. And pay the price for it, for the relationship oh, yeah. with your mother. Oh, my mother, yep. So yep. you're going to tell the truth, you're going to have to pay a heavy price. Yep. Yeah. And now you're All dealing with something rather gone. profound, and you're thinking about doing something with it. Mm. True. Hmm. Hmm. It's interesting. Why? And so, well, because the people that I'm cutting off would be people that 
would m be most interested in what I'm doing. <laughs> and so this barrage is functioning to keep me out of philosophy with my friends. Right. Interesting, isn't it? It is. A little dream, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> Can't get much out of a dream. No, my no. goodness. <clears throat> and what were you doing before your mom called you back into the room for the barrage? Um, well, let's see. I wonder where that occurred exactly. Mm. It was very interesting. But I was probably talking with my dad. Because when he had his stroke, my, my brother and my mother started talking about him in front of him as if he couldn't hear and I was so pissed off, they wouldn't talk to him, so I would go outside and I would talk with my dad. Because it was like, he has a mind, just because he can't put together sentences. So, he really liked it, but he never told me that. In fact, one time he snapped at me so hard I stopped. You know, that was when he was getting language back together. And then he later said, well, why did you stop talking to me? It was like, well, because you shouted at me. So anyway, I, we didn't know how to deal with communication. So you were there communication sharing something real, though. With my dad. And oh yeah. So far as he could meet you. And with, I was with my dad. Yeah. And you were yeah. having a real relationship yeah. for some time. Yeah, we did. Yeah, my dad and I had a pretty good, had a pretty decent relationship towards the end. So it fits again, and then the barrage. Yeah, the barrage. And the uh, secret sharing. I guess that's what she's been putting my sisters through all this time. Is that kind of. Because they all think he's a war criminal and she is an angel. It's like... <laughs> Secret sharing. It's a good phrase. So what's, what's this going to do with your uh I don't know. But should work? I can really... Uh, oh, with like? my work. No. I hope. Uh, what, is, what does it look like? What do you fear may result as a result of your work? Mm. What do well, you think might I'm, be the I'm able to spend. <laughs> I'm able to spend like an hour on my work a day, and I would like to spend like six hours in periods, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and so I have a feeling I'm going to be down to 15 minutes. <laughs> That's my fear, mm -hmm. but it may not have that consequence because now I have a way of looking at the barrage, you know, mm -hmm. and understanding it more so. Why is it coming on when it's coming on? But boy. It was heavy guns. You know? Very heavy memories. And stupidly. I I think, you know, it's like... <laughs> there are things that went by like that. Yeah. And in proportion of time, they're like... A hundredth of a percent. You know, they're... And I'm. those are the ones that live in my mind, really? So, uh, well, did you uh, finish that thought? What do you think might happen if you finish your work? Oh, if I finish my work, well, I think I might go from one work to another work, to another work, and I think the whole idea is I'd like to know what people's response is to several things. Um, one of them is in the Parmenides, you know, a way of like really, that's when I started talking about one day with you, I think, where you re if you read all the, these certain terms that are translated as if they have the same meaning with more precise meaning, mm -hmm. what, what happens, the unfoldment of the mm -hmm. more beauty. And um, I'd like to know what the response is to that vision Plato. of Greek Plato. and Plato. You, are, you already have an idea. Well, I have an idea that some people will find it very worthwhile. And that will be a small percentage. But some people will think, eh, you know, making it up, yeah. whatever. I saw I expect a large measure of ridicule and a small measure of appreciation, but that's enough. Because all I want to do is really communicate that way of seeing and, you know, build on it. And it could be that I could find, I'll find a place where they'll give me money to sit to, and do more of it. Mm -hmm. It should be also nice, although I don't. I have a certain amount of money. I don't need mm -hmm. a great deal more money, so that'd be cool. Mm -hmm. If it was in a situation where there was communication, you know, if there's no talking. Mm -mm. Much as I like England, they don't talk. Mm -hmm. That's their problem. 
And I was talking to Jeff about trying to write that paper on you, and I put it all together, and I never realized what a thing it would have been if they had permitted that. Because, you know, their reaction was just so awful to DreamWork. And yet the dreamer and that other guy that was so cool with the heart problem that gave you those <coughs> beautiful cups, I can't remember his name, he could see it was good. Mm -hmm. And he, very cool-headed, both of them. But the whole room was aflame with, oh, that's our cultural heritage, how can you doubt that, you know? A flame. I mean, they were furious. And I thought, oh, yeah, and that's the group I'm going to show this paper up here, Grimes, and DreamWorks, and, and how that can rid you of these other similar things. So, interesting. Well, thank you. I'm hoping that, I think, I'll want to go back and, when I, oh, you're right. You asked me what would happen if I finished it. Yep. Mm. I think good things. Good things. Nothing but good things. Therefore, you better be worry about it. Oh, I see. Well, mm. I had been worrying about it, but then when I started back into it, it looks like my worry was for nothing. Good. Yeah. That's what we got to see. Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. Thank okay. you. Yay. Yay. Oh, yeah. Okay. Thank you. Where was David stream? Or is he next in line? Dave, what's well, on know. the table? Well, I don't know. How you feeling, Pierre? You want to put this off till Can tomorrow you do in the more? morning? Or what time is it? Yeah. Yeah. Do we have this permanent for tomorrow? Um, I was Gina hoping that the Gina, is she still working on her thing this week? She called me this morning. She said if there's any question about it, she, she can have it at her place. Let's if do it at a, her place. Okay. Um, thank you. Let's see. Is everybody here? What do you think? Do you have um, is this your dream? Yeah. Okay. So let's see who else who isn't here. Well, Gina, we need to let her know. Bradley, Bradley may not be able to make it down here. Um, anybody Jeff's else? Here. Uh, um, no. Eldar's here. Julie's here. Josh is here. I'm here. I think just Br Bradley would need to know, Bradley, right? And I don't Jeff. think he can make it down from. But I don't think Jeff. Pasadena. Jeff's no, probably. he can't. He can't. No, he came with Brian last night. I know he did, but I'm going to send him a note just in case. Yeah. Yeah. He would love that. <coughs> living with him for a year and a half, or he would love that. Oh, really? To get a note? Yes. Yeah. Well, I think I need yeah. to keep people in the loop. Oh, uh, it means a lot to him. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. If you're into that. <laughs> if, oh, I am. Yeah, uh -huh. Oh, I'm definitely into that. I try to let it. You know, Pierre is, likes that group to be pretty select, but mm -hmm. I want to keep everybody in the loop. Mm -hmm. Who's in that group? Carol. As a name or as a song? As a thing. As a, as a display case. Yeah, good question. Maybe O-L-E? As a display case. I know it is a part of a lab. Oh, you mean uh, it's a chaos? R-R-E-L. Oh, there we go. Double R.
Julie or Barbara, if one of you could get that David. Oh, yeah, David, you get the hot seat now here. Huh? You get the hot no. seat. This is the comfortable, Someone. comfortable hot seat. Karen, camera ring. You get tchotchkes right, but you miss, you know. <laughs> I had to look up tchotchkes. Oh, okay. I, I, and I was, it took a long time to figure that out. Written like a true former English teacher. I didn't get it. Julie thinks C A R R E L, I think. Isn't that what you said? Okay. Yeah, interesting, isn't it? Yeah, there's a couple of things going on. Yeah. Wait, wait, can you, I'm sorry to stop you guys, but can I finish reading? Oh. Can we just give it one one or two more minutes? Thanks. I think the architecture of the dream is sort of you know, not really important. Like the cavernous bookshelf book in the rows of books and the and the, the tunnel that you have to go through to get from the classes. Those are interesting things. But the relationship with the girl, the game I have to play with the girl, the the, the, the pointless classes mm -hmm. and and at one point I try and make the, the, the commute for the two hour German class mm -hmm. or the the history class. I try and make it work, but at the end, I keep going back to, let's get a real catalog mm -hmm. and, and, and try and find some, a way out of this. Um, and, and then the problem of that, that it kind of speaks for itself in the end about communication. Um, that there's, uh, that I'm trying to communicate with this girl, but we're not communicating. And, um, 
And and then, what am I trying to accomplish in this game? I have no idea. I think if you just stay on the first paragraph. <laughs> okay. I'm going to make it easy. <coughs> All that typing. There was a girl. She is younger. I am at college, a very large college that is spread out over a huge campus and there are people everywhere. I'm with the girl and I follow her, I follow her into a Renaissance slash European history class. I don't know, it has something to do with maybe even medieval. It, it was just a mess. You can't hear, the teacher is mumbling to himself. So my friend says that part of the class is a tutorial. It is made clear later on, after sitting and listening to this teacher mumbling for a while, that we are going to a tutorial where there is absolutely no questioning and there is a lot of work to be done and a lot of note taking. And I get the feeling that this is like to make up for the fact that the teacher is failing but that the class really has a purpose to it, but the purpose is going to be in the tutorial. Mm -hmm. well, that's kind of why, why, why <coughs> that, that's <coughs> the back story behind why there's so much work. Um, I, I didn't see it though. Let's see. Um, so I, I, I didn't see it. I read through it. I didn't see anything there. Um, other than the fact that the class is, oh, I yeah. say it's pointless. Yeah. yeah. That's true. Yeah. Given that, uh, what, what do you see as your, your situation uh, for in the first paragraph? It's kind of a failure in a way. Mm -hmm. um, uh, in what, what, what way? Um, If I'm at a school and one, I haven't chosen this class, two, the class isn't, the, the teacher is incompetent, and that in order for you to accomplish the class, it's going to be a lot of work with no dialogue. There's, 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 there's It just seems like a kind of a tyranny in a way. It's not really education. It's it's, yeah. it's um, yeah. um, a bunch of hard work mm. and and wasting time. Mm. What do you think of the girl in the first part? Uh, well, everything in the in in the story points to the fact that I'm having a relationship with this girl but but in the first paragraph it's it's she's the one who's filling me in about the tutorial um she's in a different place than i am that's for sure she's she's doing something different than what i want to do there she's she sees a way to justify this and i don't see a way to justify it how realistic is, is uh her design <coughs> or plan. Well, <coughs> when you, when you consider that you have to commute, if, if if we can add that to it, the commute two hour commute on a train. No, 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 just the first hour. Because that repeats itself. Yeah, it does. Kind of. Yeah, that. Um. She's trying to make something work that I don't think is going to work. Yeah. She's going to be spending a good deal of time on the, on the tutorial. Yeah. And But there's no information coming from the professor. No. Right? No. <laughs> what kind of a tutorial where there is no discussion? Yeah, that's not a tutorial. That's where, the, that's where you're supposed to ask the questions about what's going on in the class. Yeah, right. Um, it, it's funny because uh, I had an experience of this recently, this very thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Over the phone. 
Well, just I know somebody over the phone. I was talking to them, and they invited me into a, a situation like this, and I said thank you very much. Put the phone down, texted her, and said, "See ya." <laughs> I'm not. I, I I do not have that problem that you have, think I want to have. So so it, it, it's it's in a way it's very transparent uh, that I see that this acted itself out and that I resolved it pretty much. Um, I wasn't going to do a preamble to this one because I got no. browbeat the last time. But it, it seems like I've, I've seen the, the dynamic of this in a recent relationship, yeah. or a recent yeah. interact, not yeah. a relationship, yeah. but an yeah. interaction. Yeah. 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 I got, somebody wanted to sucker me into something that I, would involve yeah. commuting from here to Germany and back again. Not quite Germany, but uh, yeah, but the Chicago. You're, you're seeing is good. Yeah. But what's missing? What I what my role is. Uh, take the last sentence. Last two sentences. Okay. Yeah. Well, the last comment is is about that she really doesn't seem to have. She has no problems enrolling in the school, or she's already enrolled, but I am not. Therefore. And I'm there to be with her, and it's not working out. I don't, I don't think, comma, because we are not communicating. Um, what does it mean, therefore, but I am not enrolled in terms of the entire dream? Well, I kind of like to think that, gee whiz, maybe there's some, there's some higher purpose for me. In, in in having an activity, a goal, or um, a pursuit, and that I'm not engaged. That's the negative way of looking at it. Put, put that idea back in then. Um, she's already enrolled in this place, but I am not. Yeah. Um, but I'm, I'm hard-pressed to say that I want to be. So, you know, maybe I'm, I'm wrong about, you know, that, that there should be, that I should be privileged to be at this school. Um, well, what do you think of that in terms of the content of the dream? Being privileged to be here where... It's a, it's a, it's a chaotic mess. Uh, nobody, it, it's already well underway. All the classes are taken. There's no information available. There should be a catalog somewhere that I could find as a, as a, to set my course. Yeah. And it's not there. Yeah, you have the solution. Get the catalog and figure out what's going on. Yeah. But what happens? I, I tend to um, turn away to, the, to this, this relationship, but yeah. such as it is. No, let's stay there for a moment. Uh, <clears throat> like you're seeing through this whole thing, what's going on. But you're not enrolled. Yeah. What does that mean to you? Beautiful campus, big campus, it's spread all the farther. There's this great class in European, in European history, right? Renaissance. Uh, there's a professor who can't communicate, uh, there's tutorials where there's no conversation. Uh, she disappears and you see that uh, she's not giving any clues or uh, no. it's a kind of a game. Uh, discover her by accident and... People bump into her and find her and that's how they... The little girl bumps into her yeah. and wouldn't have bumped, wouldn't have found her if she hadn't bumped into her accidentally. Yeah. It's all accidental. Yeah. Yeah, I get that. I find her by accident. Yeah. I, I don't know. It, 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 it doesn't seem like for being such a substantial dream. It seems like a pretty unsubstantial relationship. Um, of, of, of including edu the, the schools, right? That, that pattern continues throughout this dream. 
it doesn't. The school doesn't work, nor does the girl work. work out, nor does the traveling and everything. Yeah. And you see it. Yeah. Like there's no lack of seeing in this dream. Yeah. Mm hmm. Except your conclusion. So that's why I said, yeah. what follows when you, at that moment in the dream, when you realize, I am not a what, What's that like? In the dream. Hey. Well, the first first flush um, kind of negates the whole dream, but um, let's stay there. Is that true? Does it negate the whole dream? See, it depends upon what state of mind you're in at that point. And unless I get that, I can't judge it. What's it like at that moment in the dream? She's already enrolled in the school, but I'm not. <clears throat> but this, this is a distraction? Um, it's, uh... In the dream, it's like a distraction. Well, no, I'm, I'm, I'm making a conclusion that, that this whole drama I'm going through is, is not... That apart from figuring it out like you're doing, what is the experience like in the dream when you realize I am not in the okay, I'm trying to go there. That was that was tough because as I was recalling this part, it was like I was waking up as I was recalling that part, and it it, it was sort of it was sort of the transition between rec re recalling the dream and um, concluding the the account of the dream. Um, and, uh, kind of a conclusion I drew as I was. That's all, that's all true, but that doesn't describe the state of mind you were in in the dream at that moment. Give me just a second. Um, I'll try. I'll, I'll, I'll go there. So how would it differ if I offered two possibilities? <coughs> okay. <coughs> She's already enrolled in this school, but I am not. Thank goodness for that. Mm -hmm. She's already enrolled in this school, but I am not. I'm sad about that fact. What do those two possibilities do to the dream? Well, the second one hurts. I don't know. That's the first thing. Um, uh, she's already enrolled in the school, and I'm not. Thank God, is um, what I was going for first. That um, this seems like a clusterfuck that I don't want to have any part of. Um, but The sense that I really haven't found. Um, the 
uh, uh, an anchor, uh, a purpose for being in this stream is, um, is what I'm getting. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm sort of acting out, but I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm sort of just playing a role. I'm, I'm not, I'm not engaged. I'm not engaged in anything. That's, that's, that's the sad part. That, that I, as much as I'm able to see what's going on, um, I, I do not have a sense of what I'm supposed to be doing. Well. <coughs> That that uh, that may be or may not be. Uh, I'm just interested in what follows. If it, what state of mind would be present when you say that? That I'm not in role. She is looking at the whole dream. Uh, it could either be positive or negative, and that's why I'm asking. You need a state of mind. Try it out. Look at if it was. Hey, I'm sure glad that I'm not enrolled in that. What does that do to the first paragraph? Well, that kind of... I have a feel, I have a judgment about the first paragraph that this is a pointless school. Right. So and, therefore, and, and so, thank goodness, yeah. and I, I dodged the bullet. Yeah. Well, so that's a victory. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. If you find out that relationship is empty, I think it is. Yeah. Uh, again, then I'm. I'm not. That's not my problem. Yeah. Uh huh. Um, the fact that I can only be with her if I try and stay with her, uh -huh. that it's not a mutual thing, that's isn't a relationship. Right. So that could be a very positive. That could be a very positive thing. Or it could be very negative. <sighs> So that's why I, I say I can't, I can't do anything with a dream until you tell me. I just can't say it's negative. I think it's a positive thing. But I don't know. Um, it, no, if you think it's, it's a, a statement of fact at this if point. You think, if you think this is a statement of fact, finish it. Therefore, that conclusion. Um, that I'm glad I'm not. Um, and that my scene is good, um, and that um, the fact that we're not communicating is unfortunate, but it's a conclusion about where this relationship goes. Yeah. yeah. Whose problem is it? And the dream. I think it's this female figure. Pardon me. This female figure. Yeah. Yeah, she's got the problem. Yeah. Well, it depends upon on whether or not I how how I see my desire to be in that school or not. Yeah. Sorry to interrupt you guys. Been a long morning. It has been a good morning. There you are, sir. Thanks. Um. I think the fact that we're not communicating and it's not working out and that I am not all kind of support each other. I don't feel particularly bad about the fact no. that I'm not in that school. And I'm, because I... Then the only problem with the dream is why you tolerate it. Yeah. Yeah. Since you're not enrolled. Uh-huh. Nor do I want to be. Nor do I want to be. Uh-huh. Right. What's that like? You got it. Well, that's kind of liberating. <laughs> hey! Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. And, and, and I didn't really see, I mean, like, I've been struggling with that last, we text now, that's how we communicate. Like, sorry, you know, I don't expect to hear from you again, thank you, goodbye. Yeah. Um, and I've been kind of struggling with that, but, but also, it's a kind of thinking that I don't want to do anymore. Yeah, 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 that's better. 
Mm. It's, it, it's a kind of like the last couple of days I've been into the Republic in, in a new way. Mm -hmm. Just I'm just taking it page by page, sincerely. I'm ruining the book. I'm just ruining it with pencil marks. Great. And, and just, just destroying That's it. That's it. And writing my own, and rewriting the paragraphs, positive when they're all in the negative, and right. just doing everything I can. And that's the way I want to participate in yes. my education. <laughs> all right. OK. Yeah, huzzah. Are you going to want a ride home? Because uh, I can come back. I think. You got I have one? a truck coming. No, no, I know. Are you going to want to ride home in an hour or 45 minutes? You want to call me? I'll be nearby. Yeah, I'll give okay. gladly. All right. Nice, well, thank Dave. You. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good saying hello.